complex 40 year master plan for the site. A lot of it's got to do with supplementing front of house experience and adding conservation and science, special exhibitions, particularly logistics. Um, a lot of these were challenges left over on the museum compound from, from a, a work that's been evolving for 250 years. So what we did is we spent a tremendous amount of time with the museum understanding their wants and needs to try and respond to the brief. Essentially they wanted to create a world conservation and exhibition centre for the whole of the museum campus. This is really a celebration of all of the background work that maintains this collection and studies it appropriately. And it also creates a fantastic vehicle within which wider world contributions and exchanges can exist. Well, the building is, is a state-of-the-art facility for conservation and scientific research. It's helped to bring all of those staff together to work together. It's also helped us to design new laboratory facilities that help to preserve the collection, to better understand the collection and to communicate that to the wider public. I think what's unique about this building is it's a strikingly modern building in a very sensitive um, conservation environment. But for me personally, spending seven years full-time almost at the British Museum. By the end of the process, I felt like I worked here rather than Rochester Carbon Partners. 